Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome to my video. Uh, today I'm going to run through uh, how to fix an issue that I've been having with GNS3. Uh, I know this is quite a common issue. Uh, I'm not only going to run through the fix to get um, the GNS3 virtual machine running in, in GNS3, I'm also going to run through the fix that the knock-on effect this has on the rest of your networks. Um, so here we have the uh, the process uh, in order to fix this. If you're happy with what these mean, then by all means, just take a list, go ahead and apply your own fix. But I'm going to run through these steps um, through this video with you. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, um, the, the issue we're having is uh, GNS3 is unable to talk to the, the, the GNS3 virtual machine, which we run in GNS3 in. Uh, and this is um, obvious for the error we got on the screen and the fact that the, the, the GNS3 icon here is not lit up green. So this error tends to come around when there's a, an issue with the uh, GNS3 talking to the, the virtual networks that you set up in VMware Workstation. Um, now the fix for this is quite simple on the face of it. Uh, we close down GNS3. And we open up our VMware workstation. Uh, we go to edit, virtual network editor. And then in here, we see we have this button down here uh, called Restore Defaults. <clears throat> so this is the only fix that I found for this error. However, when we click this button, uh, it's going to restore VMNet0, VMNet1 and VMNet8 only. And chances are it will restore VMNet1 with a, a different IP address than, than what we're using. Um, so the first thing you really need to do is to uh, make a note of all your different networks and, and what IP address and subnet mesh you have configured for them in order that when we when we restore the defaults we'll have to recreate the new networks and, and, and allocate back the, the IP address and subnet mask for each of those. Okay so we click restore defaults now this is going to un uninstall the, the virtual network adapters within VMware workstation um, it will also uninstall them from within Windows as well, which may or may not be a problem for you, depending on what you're using for, using it for. Uh, I like to have the, the virtual network adapters uh, set up in Windows as well, so that I can directly access the stuff on their networks. Okay, so once that's done, uh, the first thing we need to do is, uh, as you can see here, VMNet1, it's been restored, but it's restored it with a different address. So the first thing we need to do is put that back so that when GNS3 tries to talk to um, that virtual network, it's talking to the right address. OK, so if you're running uh, just a very bland GNS3 setup and, and just using routers within GNS3, this will fix your problem and you won't need to do anything else. If, like me, you're running um, several virtual machines within VMware Workstation and you, you want their machines to interact with GNS3, then you're going to need to recreate your virtual networks. And in some instances, not only will you need to recreate them in uh, VMware Workstation, but you're going to need to recreate them in Windows. Which to do as a manual process uh, is not that difficult, but can take some time. So I've I've scripted some of this um, in order so that you know when I run the fix, I can just paste them back in and, and we're back up and running. So we will um, the next part of the fix 
is we will recreate the virtual network adapters in Windows. Uh, in order to do this, I actually use GNS3 itself. So we go to Edit, Preferences, VMware, Advanced Local Settings, and you can see here uh, we're going to create VMNet2 to VMNet19. And any errors that you get within GNS3 at this time, uh, you, you can just ignore until we've until we've done the whole process. So I should probably show you while this is going on uh, that my virtual network adapters have kind of well did disappear. They're they're being built. As, as this process goes on, you can see there's not 19 there yet. Let me refresh it. Yeah, they're coming back in now. Okay, and hopefully they are there now. Uh, 18, 19, there we go. So that's our network adapters back. Uh, now we need to configure them. Uh, so we're done with GNS3 for the moment. We'll close that back down. Uh, now we need to open a command prompt, uh, but we need to run this as an administrator to apply these um, this bit of configuration. Now the the syntax that we're going to use is this one here. It's a, it's a part of the net netsh command. Um, so what I did is I took all my um, virtual adapter settings um, with this, and I created a, a line for each one with the the relevant um, VM net adapter name and the IP address of the subnet on there as well. So these are my settings for the virtual networks that I'm using. Literally just copy. And paste them in there. Now a quick check of that just to make sure it's gone in. Uh, so 16. Now configure with 10, 12, 130. Is that correct? Uh, 16, 10, 12, 130. Okay, yeah, so we're happy that that's worked. Uh, now, unfortunately, uh, the adapter settings in Windows and the adapter settings within VMware don't seem to marry up, so we, we have to now configure them within VMware as well. Um, again, you know, it's not overly complicated to go into VMware and create a new adapter and give it an IP address and give it its mask but it's just time consuming. So I've also scripted this as well. Uh, however, <clears throat> we can't do it direct from the command line. We need to do it from, um, so we need to, first of all, navigate to the VMware directory. And then we need to run this vnet library64.exe. Um, now you can just run the vnet library.exe if you're in the 32-bit version of, of VMware Workstation. Uh, however, I'm running the 64-bit. So the line of config to configure your network adapter is here. And again, I've just scripted this. So literally copy, paste. 
There we go. And now we'll just give it a check to make sure that that's configured. So back into the virtual network editor. And here we go. You can see all, see all my new adapters. Uh, one we checked before, VM Next 16, 10, 12, 130. So it looks like it's worked. To double check to make sure VM Net 1 is the correct address. Uh, VM Net 1 is usually the standard um, network adapter that GNS3 will use if you configure it out of the box. Okay, we've got an issue with VM Net 12. The subnet IP and subnet mask are mismatch. Okay, yeah, so this is my bad. This should be a, a 224, and I think there's probably going to be another couple in there as well. Yeah, that should be a 240. This is me being lazy and just using a slash 24 for most of my networks, and I think that should be a slash 248 as well. Uh, if you don't know sub mask, uh, subnet masking, uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to explain to you how it's done. It's a, it's a whole other topic and it's too long for this video. Okay, so now we close down VMware Workstation and hopefully we run GNS3. And it should work. Okay, could not bind with, okay, I think I see what's happened here. So when we did the restore on the VMware Workstation uh, virtual networks, um, that network disappeared. So the, the binding that, that GNS3 is using to talk to that virtual machine has actually disappeared. Uh, so if we go to edit preferences and under server, yeah, here we go, the host binding set to local host. So we just now need to change that to 192.168.138.1. Okay, that. We'll give GNS3 a restart. Okay, it actually... Um, it tried to start up the GNS3 VM in the background before, just as I was closing GNS3. So, I mean, that's a good sign, really. We'll give it a few seconds just for the process to die. And then we'll open up GNS3. Okay, and as I said, yeah, the process was already running in the background, so GNS3 has killed it off for us. Okay, yeah, it's kicked off GNS3 VM in VMware Workstation, which is another good sign. And then hopefully this should go green and we can run our lab. Let's just try and kick it into life. I'll open the lab. And there we go. That's a good sign. It's quite a large lab that I've just tried to open. That's why it's taking its time.
yeah, as I said, it's a it's quite a big lab that I've got here, so that's why it took so long to open. Um, but it is open now and it's working. So there we go. There's the fix. Uh, I hope this is helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, click the like button. Please share and subscribe. And thank you for watching.